So people ask me every day, what do I think is gonna happen in 2023? And actually the 2023 market is uh, slated to be much better than the 24 market because in 24 you have a presidential election. And typically speaking, the presidential election makes people sit on their hands. They don't wanna move, they wanna wait and see what happens. I would imagine in 2025, after the presidential, we'll have a really strong market, maybe even better than 23 or 24. So if you can afford to wait, maybe that's the time. So interest rates have gone up since uh, February of uh, 2022 when I bought my home. Uh, I paid uh, with a 3% mortgage, and now people are getting 5.5% mortgages. Uh, everywhere USA, they might be paying as much as 6.5% right now as I make this video. They've been in the sevens, and we think that they'll stay between 55 and 7 uh, over the course of 2023. Uh, the 30-year interest rate is usually tied to the 10-year Treasury bond and typically is about one and a half to two percentage points higher than the 10-year Treasury. Uh, higher interest rates do have a negative effect on housing values, but here in New York City, uh, the people have much more cash than they do nationally. People in Texas or you know, even Arizona where I used to live put 5% down on properties. Here, most people put 20 to 25% down. So they're not as impacted by the higher rates. In addition, so many people in this market are renters and as interest rates go up, rents go up. And that happens all over the country. So that's what keeps the market alive for sales. People don't wanna keep paying escalating rents and they wanna buy something. One thing about the housing market is it's not just about housing, it's about life. And here in New York, you can feel the life. I mean, tourists are back, for better or worse, but also bars are filled, restaurants are filled. Try getting a reservation. Go to a Broadway show. Broadway during the holidays had their third best week of all time, and that trend continues to pick up. So I do see it where all the major corporations are announcing expansion plans, except for Facebook, uh, here in New York City, and we do have a great New York City economy that is drawing in new people all the time. So if you go to a restaurant or a shopping mall here in the city, it's going to be crowded. People are back and more and more people are coming here all the time. We know it because we're, you know, getting their phone calls. A lot of people work for corporations that are based in New York, but they've been working remotely. And now, just now in 2023, companies are saying, look, we need you four days a week here in the office. And people are coming. People are coming back to New York. And that is what the housing market here depends on. One of the big things that scared a lot of people during 2020, 2021 was crime. A lot of people left the city because of you know, issues with homelessness and crime. And I feel like the news did as much as they could to amplify the issue, but let's be real. It is an issue. People were getting shot. There is, uh, is you know, problems here in New York, however, in this year, 2022, under Mayor Eric Adams, a former police officer himself, crime has gone down a lot. And when you are on the New York City subway, as I am usually every day, there's a lot of cops. And I don't just mean two cops here and two cops there. I'm talking about over the course of 10 stops, you're gonna see 30 cops. So there is not a lot of reported street crime these days. Our team does sales and rentals, and sometimes we'll put a sale listing on the market and it'll be super popular, but the rental listings are more popular. In fact, we've put on uh, rentals in places like Gramercy Park or even Midtown and had over a hundred inquiries in just 24 hours. It's insane. So yes, you can look on YouTube and you will see uh, rental open houses with lines around the corner and I've uh, experienced it firsthand. Thank you.